Well, unlike a year ago, when so much flu was going through the arena, there isn't that this year here in Kingston. Time to meet the teams now. It's brought to you by Ford, a proud partner of the Canadian Curling Association for 19 years. Hi, I'm Heather Nedowin, skip of Team Canada. At lead is Lainey Peters, second Jessica Mayer, at third is Beth Iskew, and we curl out of the Savile Centre in Edmonton, Alberta. Hi, I'm Kelly Scott, the skip of Team BC. Our lead is Sarah Wozni, second Sasha Carter, third Gina Schrader, and we curl out of the Kelowna Curling Club. In the final standings, BC finished eight and three, Team Canada seven and four. And so by virtue of that one game better, that one win, British Columbia had the option in both of a hammer and the stones. They've elected to take yellow. They have the last rock. So to get us underway, playing red, Team Canada lead, Laney Peters. 14 and a half? No, 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 sorry, no we're going and short. And so 16, 16 and a half. 16 and a half. Oh, there you've got an indication already. Yeah, We're going already. short. Is that what you they said? They are going short. That will be the balance for both teams. You don't want to run away and hide. You have to play guards and draws if you want to win at this level, but it's the timing of when to play them. So right off the bat, Team Canada is going to try and force BC to the single and get that hammer back. Aggressive play without really hammer. Normally in a sudden death game, you might see an end or two. Make it tight. Make it tight. Go, go, go. Play it a little more Let conservatively. Come to center. It's a different day. It's the single sheet of ice. Yeah. It's the pressure. And if you look at the matchup, the only rookie out there is the BC lead. So that may be one reason Heather Netto would make some choices with those lead stones by Laney Peters. And maybe for that reason, uh, Kelly Scott's going open side a little less uh, dangerous play than uh, playing around the center with Hammer. And if you haven't been following with us uh, all week, why haven't you? Um, <laughs> that's another story, but Sarah Wozni did miss a couple of games, not through uh, the uh, flu. Uh, they think she may have picked up a touch of uh, food poisoning. Okay, okay don't worry, Sarah. Okay, first two stones have been played. PCs go through. What's the game plan? I think for Team Canada, it's what we were saying in the opening. Keep it simple. Stick to your plan. You have to hit your way to success. You must draw, of course, but the takeouts are so good for Team Canada. For BC, stay aggressive, but for Kelly Scott, she needs some room to draw. She had to play a draw against five in round robin play just to the very button. You can't do that time after time. The game plan is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping families have better financial futures. Okay. It's a long time to get off that center line, too. Slips to the back of the uh, forefoot. No worries. Same as it's been all week. Okay. I think the hack end support will be important for Sarah. I'm sure there was a little bit of a pitter patter in the heart when the eight. announcements oh, were made for this game, and that eight. maybe translated to the extra kick yeah, from the hack on that first draw. It was really ripping down that yeah, ice. It was it ever, but if you're, if you're not nervous, you shouldn't be here. You have, you have to feel something in a big game like this representing your province. And I think she's going to make the intern because 80% of her shots this week have been interns. Wozni originally from Winnipeg, and she comes down with a stone at the back, sits there. Played with Caitlin Laws when she lived in Manitoba, won a Canadian and World Junior title. Nice bounce back shot there, uh, right underneath cover. Line's good. I think that might be all there. It's a little stickier here. I talked Easy about how line, more often than not, Jessica is called on to play takeouts. It's not that she can't draw. Her draw percentage was terrific. So you expect these to be made. Gotta go! Go, Lainey! Hard, hard, hard! Line go. three, go, 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 go! Go, Lainey! Go, Lainey. Hard! Trying to close up right down on top. Not quite. Shot stone still is British Columbia, and they do have the last rock. Uh, feeling a little lonely, are we? Because of just, we're into the playoffs now here at the K-Rock, and just the one sheet in play. So all the focus is there. And we've Four, known from past experience yeah, because of that lack of of movement on other sheets that can affect the airflow, Russ, and that may affect 
the ice at times. Yeah, it really can, but uh, if anybody, Mark Sherrick, can keep it consistent because that's what they want. They don't. It doesn't have to be the fastest no, ice they've no ever played yet, on. Gina. It doesn't have to be the swingiest that ice they've ever played on. You want consistency, and you're going, uh, you see, BC putting the broom edge of the eight here to draw to the button. That's the same amount of curl we've had all week, which is wonderful. We did notice, though, Linda, that uh, a couple times it's sped up a little bit. And uh, in the case of Rachel Holman's game last night, she was fighting a little slower area as the game went along in the ninth, tenth, and it looked like it slowed down a little bit, which is natural too. So. out and it just never caught that caught same it, hey? ten, ten, Something five. they're going to have to track throughout the game. You watch the path. Heather will be looking for not just curl, but speed as they play these shots. BC's Rock came a little deep. Didn't curl the way they wanted to the face of the red one. The double is there if you're perfect, but you can also jam it onto your own. Iskew, Peters on the brush. And we'll get right to the nose, and I almost Where's caught the, the shot stone, but it still sits there, but it's a lonely yellow now. You just yell, whoa, for a second, but you can't blame them. You don't want to hit the yellow onto the top red, so they just overcurled a tad, but still a dangerous stone. Top eight. Maybe just a bit of a spot, eh? Ten and a half. Definitely seems to take a little bit of time to come over in this spot, so yeah. BC will play the yeah. quieter hit weight. 10-2! Whoa! Whoa! Then! No! Whoa! No! No! no. We whoa, go. whoa! 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 Yeah, it was 10. I still like the nose. Yep. Pushes the shot rock back to the ten, edge of the five. 8. Shot stone, yeah, first and second shot. Right now belong to no. Team Canada without last right. rock. Okay, let's go. Back. This next this shot could be up. big trouble for BC if they let's can get back. its nose hitter a little flop would be good. Kelly Scott's trapping herself, and this is kind of what we're talking mm -hmm. about. She's going to have to think with Gina if she's going to bail in this particular Ten. position. Whoa. Whoa. I thought they'd play the double there, Whoa. Linda, and they elected the nose hit, and it didn't quite Whoa. curl enough to cut their own. We Beth Iskew, and we'll roll, oh, maybe a half a stone underneath. Yeah. Heel. It's all about the angles, but uh, three quarters of the top one will get the second one going towards the third one. If you, if you ever hit them just right, you could make all the reds move. More importantly, get the top two. Have to open it up. This is the great battle at third, tied in percentage and plus minus through round yeah. robin play. Yeah. Hard. Hard. Whoa. Hard. Yeah. Gina yeah. Schrader. Hard. Go, go, go. Catch one. Oh, she okay. stuffed it, okay. jammed whoa, whoa, whoa. it. Hit. So it is Team Canada, Canada still sitting the two. Yeah, like right there. Three, okay, so three, two. 16, 16 and Well half. played in by Team Canada here. Constant pressure. Yeah, 16 and a half. Let's go, Beth. Nice and crisp. I'm saying 16 and a half, hog to hog time. That will put them at about halfway between the hog and the top of the 12 foot. Oh, Sign's good. good. All there. Three, four. Line's good though. Just three. 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 Line's good. Easy, easy. Easy, it's curling easy. a little bit. Beth Hiskew, the native whoa, of Truro, Nova easy. Scotia. Whoa, oh, oh. Easy. Sit. Whoa. Played in a couple of Scotties out of Nova Scotia before moving up west last year to Alberta and then going on to win the, the championship. I think so. Yeah. Okay, same throw. Nicely lined up. If this is a hit straight back, obviously the yellow shooter will stay. It could be problematic for BC here. A little bit less size. Okay. Room, 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 room. No, 
go, 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 no, go, go, go. Yeah. No, just okay, just clean it. it. Just a little flare with the hand on release, okay. and that will not come back. It's over there. Okay. Hey, Gina. So it's familiar territory for her last year in the 3-4 game, but it was reversed. She started slowly in Red Deer. Here, Team Canada won their first six, and as we say, stumbled down the stretch. Uh, and Heather's quick to point out and say, look at, you know, we're a team that rebounds well. Uh, how do you do that, Linda? What What is the key for her to, to to find that magic again. Well, it's a recovery tool is to stay positive. That's the first thing. And there's no one more positive than Heather Netta when she's got a wonderful enthusiasm and spirit. And that is infectious. You can't worry about what came before. You can only look forward and know that you still left yourself a chance. And that experience of knowing you can perform after a game that wasn't as good, you bank that and use it. The game last night wasn't uh, sudden death for them either. And, uh, we know Heather, and she Whoa. wants to be Good. intense 100% of the time. You wonder if they took the foot off the gas pedal a little bit. Well, I mean, look, at it It could have been had they, you know, they did lose that game, and they did look, and they saw a scoreboard where Saskatchewan was, was losing, and then eventually did. Had Saskatchewan won, then we would have had a tiebreaker with Team Canada. So that being said, Heather has also made the comment, when you look at the losses, she says we still played pretty well. Would you agree? Well, some of them. <laughs> yeah. I think we were saying in some cases it was style of play that got her into trouble. She played too complicated, and in particular the game they lost to the Territories. She was calling some shots that I just haven't mm -hmm. seen from her before, leaving corner guards in position when she didn't have the hammer. Those sorts of things are not Heather-like, and it's mm -hmm. not what's going to get you to the championship game. And I think she did correct that against Ontario. Yeah, 85% as a team last night. You're right, but the Territories game was a strange one. So this is a cold draw for her with her first Kelly Scott. And it's tough to keep bailing because there's that rock top 12, even if you get the guard out of position and Heather will just put something back. They'd love to get this in at least for second shot. So Wozni on the left, Carter on the right, trying to get that there. Needs a little bit more and will corner freeze, yes, for second shot. So by contrast, here was uh, Kelly Scott in BC. Yeah, you know, back and forth, weren't quite sure, and then suddenly, bang. Now make a note, they lost to Manitoba, Ontario, and Team Canada. They lost to all the playoff teams. And then we often say, you've got to win the games that you think you can win, and coming down the stretch, she did. Yeah, and they played very well. That last game against Quebec, 91%. And they've kept the stones She's from that game sides. from sheet C, so you know they Watch feel very one. good about that game last night. Same thing. Beautiful uh, good hair response last, to a rough end here. Okay. It's not shot rock, but it's so safe in there. It's, uh, To cut Easy. off the draw to the button, you don't want this to curl mm -hmm. to the middle. You want to keep it out on that four-foot okay, line. Fine. Get over there. No, no, yeah. we don't need to curl. Final stone no here in one whoa, for whoa, whoa. Heather whoa, Nedewin, her whoa, whoa. team out of the Savile Sports Center in Edmonton. 16-5. Okay. okay. It didn't take it away. It overcurled the spot. Although it is a little wider for Kelly to draw. Mm -hmm. uh, great end, though. Great. It, it really forces uh, BC to a tough shot. But I think uh, Kelly Scott's pretty happy about the situation. The, the most she can give up the single, and she just has a very good idea what this does. As we look at this, could you play through that hole there and maybe just play the pick on the, the shot stone? Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about that too, Vic. It looks like there is a there is a hole, and it looked like there's a bit of bit of room there. It's it's probably makeable. You, your shooter would be tough to control, but you could probably tap it out and get your single. This is what Kelly loves to do. She loves to draw, but one more time, she's left herself a pretty tiny piece of real estate to find for the point. And you said last night, that was it, 97% was her final uh, percentage? Okay, whoa, it's 
Nice in that last rock exactly. win. Exactly. Here she goes as it sits out there and yeah, three, it's six. not coming back. Yeah. Okay. okay. No, it will One not. Right. There it is. The so shot stone. Yeah. Team Canada will open with a steal of one yeah. here in the first. It's the 3 4 page playoff at the Scotties in Kingston. BC give up the steal of one in the first to Team Canada. Brian Mudrick joining us this afternoon. Hi, Brian. Hey, Vic, you know when you're a two-time Scotties champion, you need a lot of talent, but sometimes superstition doesn't hurt either. When you talk about Kelly Scott and her family and support group, they couldn't make the long trip to Ontario, but you can bet they're back home watching in Kelowna, B.C. I talked to Kelly, and she said for every big event that she's ever done great in, it all happens in the basement of her parents' house because that's where everybody shows up to watch to cheer her on. As for her son, Nash, and her husband, Chad, she tells me they had a birthday party, but they'll find a TV somewhere. So I said, Kelly... Your family's superstitious. How about you? And she smiled at me and laughed and said, you know the glasses I'm wearing right now today? I said, yes. She said, these glasses are perfect and undefeated so far this week. So whatever advantage you can get. Ten. Nice throw, Laney. She goes on to win this. I can see some optical sponsorship possibly <laughs> in the future. Thank you, Brian. And here in two, it is a BC that once again has the last rock playing the yellow stones, but not the same kind of start here. So you have to decide what plan you're playing, but we've already said Sarah's a rookie at this event. And yes, she has junior experience, but it's not the same. And it's been a while since she's been in this position. So this end, I think, was partly based on that. You saw the first stone of the end come in by Team Canada, and Kelly opted to hit it because it was full forefoot and waited to play the corner until that stone was removed from the forefoot. The only problem with this is now Team Canada can peel the guard. Yeah, you can make them miss if you take advantage of the rule until the first one up there. But, uh, yeah. Still, Heather Nether and Team Canada have to make all these, or Kelly will be able to get around it later. Jessica yes. Mayer. Yep. And you can hear Heather Nether call on the brushing right away. There's that roll across, and it will keep going. So it's on the wide side, just barely covering the edge of the 12. Turn corner guard. Pretty close to Sarah's. Bring it a bit. Good throw. Good one, Sash. Way to go. Nicely done. Sasha Carter. Kelly Scott, Gina Schrader, Sasha Carter. That's Gina? the that's quick. Okay. The basic the basis of this championship team of a few years ago, of course, the two-time Canadian champions. It's at the lead clean. position where they've had to clean, clean, clean. make some substitutions, yep. Yep. trying yep. to find the right Hard. fit. And uh, it's uh, Sarah Wozni this in. year. And go, 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 so go, team go, 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 go. In the book says it's their first year together, which it is. Eight. But the, the back end, those three have been together for minimum of six or seven years. No more, eh? And we're finding, I think, and I think it's the Olympics that has maybe done that, Linda, that teams do it in cycles. Used to be, you know, you find four friends and you, you play as long as you could, but the game at the elite level now is more business-like and you're putting combinations together for a cycle, as I say, a run at a at Olympic trials spot. So for them to be together as long as they have is, is now in this day and age a little unique. It is, although they have come and gone. Last year, Jackie Armstrong played lead and uh, decided Good. not to play anymore because of family and work commitments. Now you have Gina Schrader back after having her third child. So for the Kelly Scott team in particular, this has been a juggle, and it was great to have Sarah move from Manitoba to BC to play with this team and to find another person that has the same level of commitment as this team does. It's not easy to juggle all the things and make that big commitment. On top of that, then there's the money because it, it's expensive mm -hmm. to be out there and compete and train. 
BC team at one end of the country. That's a lot of traveling. Roll it away again. They do. Yeah, and it'll go between. <laughs> It'd be, be tempting for BC and Kelly Scott to throw the corner guard on this side as opposed to this side because then your angles are a little tougher to remove them. It might force Heather Nedwin to run it through here, and that would leave a guard. Indication here, Linda, is the hit and roll underneath with that whatever it is guarding that uh, stone on the <laughs> wide side. That's a wide corner for sure, but not opting to play any more guards. We've talked about the fact that when you have a bad end, sometimes skips just decide to play it more open. It could be partly the decision of Kelly that she doesn't want to take any chances this end once that first stone came in. Of course, if it had been a guard, as it was in the first end played by the opposition, Kelly might have decided to go in behind. Mm -hmm. we're, we're not going to know that. But it's always that timing, and it's sort of what we talked about in the opening, Vic, the timing of offense and defense. And sometimes you do go to the ice with a plan, but the first Stand end gives you an assessment easy. of whether your team is ready or not. Stand I'm not sure yeah. Kelly felt they were all ready to easy. really go for it this end. Easy. Just clean. Ten. Nice throw. Nice throw. Nice shot. One thing you do have to be careful about, though, is the fact that Team Canada okay. does hit so well. Work. The first hand was okay. a perfect example. Jessica Mayer, in particular, makes the nose hit, and Sasha Carter doesn't make the good shot. So that exchange at second had a lot to do with the steal in the first end. So if Team Canada gets their more. wish and plays a few okay. hits and get it into that momentum that they've well, missed in the last few now. games, no, no, no. trouble off, for BC. Off. Off. No. Gina Schrader. And popping hard is right okay. out the side. That was more? Just Little slightly. Bit more. Not yeah. enough to bounce off. Hmm. Yeah. Like not enough to run different. Yeah. It's a different than your Very first. different, yeah. Okay. Try the laney side. Yeah. So skip stones to come here in this second. <laughs> Wide open <laughs> second. <laughs> If you're wondering about the stones, I mentioned BC playing all okay, the yellow right stones from Sheet C. They felt so good about their final win against Quebec. For Team okay. Canada, it's two of everything, two of A, B, C, and D. So they really mixed it up, and each player, I'm assuming, was left to choose the one they liked. Did you find that, uh, Russ, when you were on the ice, that you'd go from Sheet <laughs> to Sheet and you'd play all the colors, all the pairings, and you, you found you liked one set easy. or one pair better? Yeah, oh, definitely. Uh, what you do in a practice like that is you, you decide, you write down ahead of time your favorites, and then the team gets together and decides. It's, it's, sometimes it's a little different. If, if I like the two on C and somebody else on my team like two on A, they could curl differently, so you have to be careful that way, too. 97. She got a 13 long. But you gave me exactly what I asked for. So we need less. So that's good to know. We learned at a good time. So no yeah, biggie. Sure, all good. So edges. Curious. Both teams a little bit. You heard, uh, you know, on Gina Schrader's last one, she was a little surprised at how the yeah. the rock uh, reacted. This one, not very good from uh, Heather, and she's a little puzzled by it. So four seven. We like something like that. Yeah, I would say the same as what you threw to yeah. the draw to the button yeah. on this way. I'm going to try to use that wide little uh, rock on the side there to create a little havoc, get it partly underneath. I like the conversation. They use both a number, a stopwatch time hog to hog, Five. which I must admit I prefer Eight. than the interval if you're trying to Nine track three. paths Five. across the sheet. Mm -hmm. But also words, Nine Kelly, three. same you as you threw in the first end to the draw you made well into the forefoot. Now the brush here, Russ, was right put down right by right Gina right Schrader. Right maybe, maybe. Just, I would say, at the blue of the heart. So we're looking at about, she goes deep here now. So we're looking at approximately four, four and a half feet of curl. Right. Yeah, and they expected more. Okay, it uh, it looked way. like a lot of ice vec hit. You needed it's almost six feet of curl to get right underneath there. So. It's pretty straight too, eh? Hey? A little surprised. And fast to get right to Both the teams are uh, yeah. comments of faster and straighter. And that's not uncommon to have it change a little bit. Big crowd again. Sometimes the ice maker has to make the surface a little colder because the air temperature is warmer because of the crowd. Colder ice surface, straighter rocks. 
For a club curler, though, when you say four and a half feet of curl is straight, that's, uh, <laughs> you rarely get to experience that in many clubs, of course. Final stone for Team yes! Canada. Got to get it by. Hard. And they do. Nice and they'll roll it to the back of the eight. Shoot. Nice throw. One of Gina's running straighter out there. Heather wanted to keep uh, hit it dead on, keep it out there to maybe put some doubt in uh, Kelly Scott's mind oh, for the blank. So it was up it's a good thing I you wanted. Have. Yeah, it moved there at the end. Yeah. Could probably go just a hair more. Really played the whole end to blank the way she approached it, so it's important to roll out here. Final stone here in two. Team Canada opened with a steal of one. Lean. Yep, yep, yep. Looking for the blank BC. Yeah, Kelly on, Scott hard, out of the right Kelowna up. Curling Club. Hard! All the way. Go, 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 go. Wazzy Carter on the brush. Yeah. Catch it on the corner, roll it out the right back. Up, That's the way to do it. So a wide open second. BC will take the last rock to the third here in Kingston. The K Rock Center celebrating its fifth anniversary. Opened in February of uh, 2008. The home of the Kingston Frontenacs of the Ontario yeah, Hockey yeah, League. Yeah, and our yeah. home this entire week. We've enjoyed our stay in Win! Kingston. Final weekend, championship weekend. Win! Team Canada opened with a steal of one. The second was blank. So here in three, once again, BC does have the last rock playing the Yellowstone. It's interesting, one of the comments that Kelly made, you know, in, in some of the post interviews, she said, look, this field, and we, and we saw the division really early. The, if you were to say in handicap the field before we started, I think we would have all said these four teams that have made the playoffs. Saskatchewan had a great run, faded. I think we have to, you know, applaud the, the play of New Brunswick to get to six and five prior to that they'd never only been five and six so well done to them okay. kelly said look at okay. among those four that have made it anyone can beat anyone at this Nine, point five, ten. the key to her linda and it's Sorry, further to her ten, point ten and a half. is not to let anybody have a big end against you would you agree yes the only problem is that she also has to score in Scoring during Seven. round robin yep, play, yep. BC was the second highest to Manitoba. Whoa, sorry. The Please. blank and that just occurred, that's yeah. only the fourth Whoa. in a game yeah. involving BC. That's not really her style to play that open. No roll, no roll. Yes, roll. Whoa. So though you limit scoring, yep. you also have to score yourself. When it comes to BC, you see 8.1 on average points per game. Limiting scoring was not as good as Manitoba, for example, because they put a lot of rocks in play. They steal, but they give up steals against. They're not involved with very many blanks. Normally, Kelly lives and dies on the crowded game, the draw game, using guards. So it's fine to take your time to do it, but at some oh, point, you can't get away from it. Because as we've said, Russ, as they try to drag this oh, Sasha Carter stone around that center guard. Big, big, big scrub now. Wozni Schrader got to get it around that stone right there. They did. Nice brush now. Take it right down and put it on the face. Very nice. Looks like the red stone may still be the shot at the back of the button. Great brushing again, Linda. The uh, That would look tight all the way down and big rotation, which helps. It'll glide a little farther, but the line ended up being absolutely superb. Good dressing, guys. You're very well. <laughs> but if you play it, Mine's a little 
too open for too long, you then look at that scoreboard and go, my goodness, where did the game go, right? You do have to do something. Oh, for sure. I guess these top teams, you have to get them to miss shots. And I played a game, we played Saskatchewan one year at the Briar. They called 96% as a team lost the game because they weren't putting any pressure on us. It's, it's all about applying pressure, no different than a, a game of snooker. It's not the shot you make, it's the shot you leave. That little bump now makes a BC shot stone Linda. And for Team Canada, their scoring was a little lower than BC on average, 7.2 points per game, but their defense was better. Now look at the steals. They stole a few points. They against nine of those 11 points happened in the losses late in round robin play. They actually were very good at limiting that steal when they were playing at their best. It was later on that they started to give up more points and maybe put too many rocks in play. Love to get to the inside here. No, no, we got room. Wait, it's only no. about an eight. eight. Off eight. the line. Eight, nine. Off. Okay, get ready, guys. How much? Eight, eight, nine, eight, nine, 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 nine. No, nine. wait's great. Close. Let it curl. Wait's great, but the line's not. They'd Whoa. love to get to the face of this at least. Didn't get across okay. the nose. Shot stone still is the yellow. Just small, kind of out to edge of the of button. Eight. Oh. That side. It's a little bit of a change of a mindset. When you've been on ice, it's so swinging. You get into that little, probably in out motion and get away with it. But here, if it's a bit straighter, you're going to have to really watch any motion on the hand. You, uh, you want to learn how to read ice, track the mistakes, track the misses, and uh, almost everything's been a little bit straight on the high side misses. I think they're going to the yellow one. They could, they could have elected BC to brush that lind after a tick to get it a little deeper. And this is perfect, and it has to be perfect. Three quarters of the yellow one bounce across. The red will hit the other yellow out in the open. Here we go. Beth Iskew. Throwing third stones, Team Canada. Mayor Peters trying to hold it, jump it across, kick it over. And shot stone sitting one, two, top and bottom of the button. Very nice shot. You could have been able to bump the yellow a little farther, but Peel Waite hit it just a hair thick, loses a little bit of steam, but bounces that rock at the top of the button into a really dangerous spot. Curls even with Peel there. <laughs> If I hit a corner, do I clear the yellow? Like, what if you even just flop on top yeah. of it? Like, the freeze on if top If you hit a bad. quarter of this one? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to clip No, out. they're fairly even, these two. Okay, well, you think you can get a quarter? You got a quarter. Play I don't know easy. if it's worth it. OK. Hit on flop doesn't do anything either. Sure. <clears throat> What's uh, Kelly been talking like to here? Yep. Okay. I think they, I think she talked about coming off the outside one, and it was a it's miscommunication. They're talking about hitting a quarter wider, of the back yeah, of it. Kelly thought they meant the quarter of the top of it. So now they've changed the call, and I think they're going to hit the rock that the broom is on and roll in. But that will leave Alberta, or no. uh, sorry, can Team Canada, too. No, I think they're trying to hit the one that is actually on center line and try and roll in front of the other. But right. Very difficult shot. You can't see very much. And right, you got to get by the guard first. They do that, and they're going to get it right in the cross. So they bump it back. Still is Team Canada sitting two now back of the button, but there are two yellow stones, top four. BC with last rock here in three. The yellow was just thrown, is just like tucked that. underneath the guard oh, enough that uh, Team Canada cannot get to the inside on that top yellow one. Hack! Hack, wait! Hack! Okay. Let's go, Beth. All right, let's go, Beth. So 12, 12 and a half. Yeah, Chris release straight up. Yes! Boy, this just may have taken off on them because Mayor and Peters have jumped on this, trying to drag it by that center guard. Get by that first. No. That's all right. 
We saw that That's last fine. night a couple of times that the stone will find patches where it just literally you know? goes left and right and suddenly. Yeah, that really fooled him, Vic. You're right. No question about it. We, we saw Kelly Scott uh, draw for two in the first end out way wider, and it didn't curl at all. So this spot's moving uh, maybe middle of the eight foot. That looked good till about halfway down. If you uh, crack this the right way, do both reds go? Don't think so, Vic. You're going to throw a pretty soft weight, too. So I think they're just we trying to yeah. either get no. to the inside or just oh. bump the oh. one back. Okay. No. Whoa. Yep, yep. And it's going to try the yellow whoa. raise and yep, bump yep, one of them yep. back. Sheena Schrader. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay. And roll to the inside. Okay. Again, it's still <laughs> Team Canada thing. sitting yeah. the two. <laughs> three. She could nut those and get the most going. I think let's clean it up. What if I peel this, go boop and sit right there? Or do you like the guard at all? That. This probably catches some of that. I kind of it. think I like the guard. Sitting a couple, Heather would throw the guard, yeah. but she's, she's worried about this shot. Three, mm. yeah. Okay, so we threw this guard first end. We need more. Her, yeah, I think so. You guys like this? What else do we have? I'm just wondering about, she's got the one red on the side. No, no. She can come in the pocket. There you go. There's what uh, Jessica Mayer has Top picked 12, up on hey. what you what saw. You like? yeah, exactly. But the problem with the hit There's is no if hit you tick them? this one first, you were you're going to roll it's, this way way too well, far with I your red one, and that exposes the easy red double. Kind of roll on top of our, that yellow. yellow. Like I could take, take their yellow off center and leave yeah. that other one there. What do you guys like? I don't come mind. on, let's take a quick peek. I don't mind this, actually. Come on, take a peek. So one more look. What are you thinking about? Well, the other thing I have, Beth, is to throw the hit on this one and sit here, right? And get this out of the way and sit here. The only thing is so we, can, we can only see a little bit, so it chances comes are. In yeah, so it'll much. curl it'll curl up. Yeah, yeah like think about you, Chick. So if I played hat, even if I go chunk, gets this out of the way and we sit there, I just don't like that. OK, here's the thing. If you do that, you leave her the wide open draw to the pocket, which she'll make. Yes. Do you think she's going to make what that pocket? in off? Wide over there? Yeah. If we take this gone. away, that'll be gone, she'll right? Have so this she'll just draw. come right in and sit on us. Bonus, mine will be there to nut her. Well, this will be in the way. You'll be here. I like it. I like this. Okay, I like it. What kind we of weight do you want to throw? Just, just that hack. Hack? Yep. Hack. Okay. This is the point right. you do. <laughs> defer to Suddenly the skip and what they want to play? Well, this is Heather, and we've talked about this many times. There are some skips where they really want your input and are one of those where the, everything seems reasonable and they weigh them. Heather does have that instinct and often wants to go back to the shot that she prefers. And that's up to the team then to decide if they want to dissuade her or just let her go. And But interesting, did you hear Jessica Mayer said, yep, good shot, let's go. That decision's made. Once the decision's made, now you we're have gonna to make sure you. she trusts them. Yep. Here we go. Skip stones in three. Hack. Wow! Heather Nedewin and her first. This is her shot. Stay with it. No. Come off the no. yellow. Close. Top Close. of the four and then just flip Whoa. right over. Whoa. There, flip over, push it back. And bounces okay. away a little bit. Didn't sit quite where she will hope to uh, rush. Okay. Yeah, that's what we like talked that. about was that's the really bounce nice was Heather. easy to have that happen. She had to hit a lot more of that buried rock, which wasn't easy either. I like that. Because the way yeah, they were lined up, it was going to go tick, tick, just, and I keep know, spinning, and that red one spins right out of the way. Finishes up that little bit more, and we're on the top of there. 
You had to throw a lot less weight to be able to stay on top, uh, Linda, and that kind of opens things up for BC. We thought the line ran a bit. I feel like things are curling still right now. What kind of weight? Um, well, I don't want ours to roll far, like just 10 maybe. Okay, yeah. Not quite sure here. Looks like they're going to uh, hit their own, Linda. Just try to That's all I can see. over curl our Positive yellow a bit. It. Kill okay. one of the reds. Just trying to over curl it while that red Tina, one top eight is sort of in the way, there. and things are going to spill. Like okay. Really careful for your weight here. If you ever hit a quarter yeah. of your yeah. own, both your yellows are gone. The red that's shot rock isn't going to go very far because of the alignment and the it's, it's frozen there. Dangerous weight selection, if nothing else. Kelly Scott, her no. first. No. Wozni on the left, Carter on the right. No. Whoa, little no. more. Little more. This stone is all by itself. Sit. Sit. Okay. Good. And we'll sit now. So shot stone. Okay. Team Canada, Still back of the button. Yeah. Second shot, shot BC. Okay, she didn't throw that much. I guess that her speed because of the amount of ice, but uh, she threw pretty soft weight. I was that first end with the guard. So we want to be here, hey? Yep, let's go. Okay. Okay. There still is that stone on the opposite side as we looked at it there on the edge of the eight foot that you saw that Jessica Mayer saw. There it is. And a little in off that's available. That's certainly there for two, Vic, once this is two. guarded. Two, three. Mm, two, three. Three, I like, because otherwise she can just come down there and tap it, right? Yeah. All right, Heather, like you can. What do you want, Lainey? 110, 115. Those are split times. 4.1, 4.15. Back nice. line to hog. Clean. Remember, it, uh, you Kelly wait. Scott Scroft for two here out wide We're did not there. curl. She's got to move hard. Easy. Okay, yeah. starting to move. Go. Yeah. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay with it. Stay with whoa. it. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy. Good. So oh, covers the raise on the yellow up. to get shot stone. It's a 97 goes through. And then 97 goes through. Two different rocks, though. Three great ends by Team Canada. They're making a lot of shots, but the one thing you hate to do is give a skip a chance for two especially of Kelly Scott's ability. And you've kind of forced okay. their hand. They really have no choice. Sometimes, Linda, you go down, you've got three or four options. You can't decide what to do. She's sliding down knowing this is my only option. She's focused on it. I think she'll be very close here. That stone's been over there yelling, play me, play That's me, right. play <laughs> exactly. me. And now uh, it's going to come into play. We knew that. Beth threw in here that over curled a little bit. So uh, I think if they have to brush this early, they're in trouble. Final stone. Team Canada. Yep. Easy, no. Has one stolen no. in their pocket. Whoa. No. Kelly Scott. Whoa. No. Quasney no. Carter, nothing all on its yeah. own. Now, yeah. late whoa, rush. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Off, come across, and slides behind. Had to curl up a little more. Just wouldn't come. Team Canada will steal one more. You get the feeling whoever figures out this ice first, both of them struggling a little bit, that team will have a big advantage in this 3-4 page playoff at the Scotties in Kingston. South Saskatchewan River at downtown, we know of course is Edmonton and we will be there next week for our first day of coverage of the Tim Hortons Briar, 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 12.30 Pacific. And the teams involved, well, how good is this? This is wonderful. Now, some players we won't know, obviously, Andrew Bolesky, you'll know a bit more from BC, but Mark Stout, James Gratton, and Gushu, and Brad Jacobs with Ryan Fry now on the team. Jamie Cooey had a great run last year, making the playoffs first time ever. Paul Fleming 
Glenn Howard, of course. Eddie McKenzie makes another appearance. Jean-Michel Menard, he's a former champion in Brock Virtue, now playing out of Saskatchewan. Somebody who knows all about playing there, David Nedowin, Canadian champion, world champion, here watching his wife, of course, and he's with Brian. Vic, thank you very much. Of course, you talked about it. The Edmonton Briar will be fantastic. The last time the Briar was in Edmonton, of course, you were on the ice, and that had to have been a very special feeling. I was in the building and watching you and Randy Furby and your entire team. That must have been a very special memory you think about even today. Yeah, it was an amazing experience, uh, obviously, to be the home province team and in our home city. Uh, you know, a packed building with, you know, 16,000 people in there, draw after draw. Uh, it's an amazing curling community, and they, they really support it. So the Briar is going to be uh, really special for all the teams there this year. I apologize to your wife earlier in the week because I sent out a tweet when she was doing great at Hot Shots and I gave your team props, not this team, Netowin props. And it's awesome to see her doing so well. Roles are reversed for you. Back in the day, she was cheering you on and supporting you with the family. And now it's your turn. Yeah, very much so. Um, you know, her team's been just tremendous for the last couple of years, and I've had a great time following them and supporting them. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to the trials next year now that they're in it. So it's it's been a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, as far as the hot shots there, I did teach her everything she knows. So you probably <laughs> didn't prop the right person anyways. And a final one for you. She did struggle down the stretch in round robin, but again, once again in the 3-4 game, your thoughts on how the team is playing? Well, good. You know, they had a couple off games, um, but last night against uh, Ontario, that was just such an amazing game. Both teams are so good. You know, Rachel made a draw to the button, you know, on the last shot to win, and, and you can't take that away from somebody. So they had a lot of confidence coming in today, knowing that they were playing well. So it's uh, it's been great so far. They came out and, you know, really were uh, going aggressive right from the first day, so they came to play. Dave, always a pleasure. Thanks for your time. Enjoy the curling. Thank you. So quite the Tim Hortons Briar starts next so Saturday in Edmonton. It's like my jaw to the button. So another steal of a single by Team Canada. They're up 2-0 as we play here in four. Once again, it is BC that has the last rock playing the Yellowstone. But BC, this time BC did put up a guard. They got a little fortunate on Sarah's draw in. She sort of wicked and rolled in behind the guard. The run back was missed. So a chance to get two, but this is now moving the play into the ring. So you have to be very careful about rock positioning if you're BC. Normal. Okay. A bit of shrapnel Nine. at the back uh, to work okay. with for BC. And mind you, the red one is shot rocks. I think they're going to try to roll underneath cover here. Nine. Whoa. Nine. Yeah. Yeah. The spot moves Nine. hard. Very nice, isn't it, Vic? They're making a ton of shots. Well, they're, they're figuring this out. Uh, listen, I, I apologize. I, I was turned around because I looked at it from the left. That's why I said South Saskatchewan. But if I turn this way, it's the North Saskatchewan. <laughs> okay, so I'm sorry. Yeah. Don't get turned around next time, Vic. Okay. Driver too, isn't he? Yep. Whoa, no. Whoa. <laughs> he better find his way in Edmonton, that's for wow. sure. We'll be at the saddle dome. <laughs> that's a way to get yourself out of trouble. Very nice. Really great shot, but not a perfect result. Losing that uh, thrown rock. At, uh, it's hard to criticize a uh, raised double roll behind cover, but you would love to save that uh, thrown stone. I think in particular at this stage we are seeing such tremendous precision on the hits by Team Canada. They are really playing their style of play absolutely perfectly. So even those as a run back, Nine. we expect it to be made. Yep. Yes. Hard. 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 Whoa. 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 Over curling. That's and running it by. So a chance here for BC to. So to get something going, maybe splitting the house, try and run it through and get their deuce back. It doesn't seem as quick. Five's ran pretty nice. Mine yeah. ran, yeah. 
five should be fine. Five would I think be fine. So, yeah. Still, still, still talking about that ice, though, Russ. You know, here we are in the fourth. Yeah, I think they're getting a little less movement in some of the spots, which translates to a little quicker, because if there's uh, less curl, the rock doesn't have as far to travel. And with yeah, the big curl, it's obviously friction that's causing that. So. Line's curling pretty big. We had one here Even before that uh, we remember Kelly moment. tried to come Even. around a really wide one, and it, it Five, didn't six. get nearly to the spot they expected. So. This should slide really well coming in. Right to T, right to T. Very nice. Yes. Way to go. Good shot. Way to go, Gina. That evens them up. 5, yeah. playing third stones here in the fourth. Yeah. Hard, hard, hard. There, Peters oh, yeah. looking hard, to yeah. roll it towards well, the well. stone on the Ooh, edge of the eight and we'll sit I'm right up. there. That curl's there because that was a nice throw. Okay, Jess, Good. Jess, Jess. Ten, two, ten, two, or ten. Linda, the run back double is there. Do you care as much? about that as you do about the roll away to split the house. Yeah, separation is the key to prevent any double takeout. No. Ten. Clean only. Got to curl. Easy side of ten, Cal. Got to keep working. Clean. Got Clean. Got room, room, room. Whoa. Curl. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, now that jam at the back brings that red stone into play. So it is a shot stone BC. Team Canada sitting second shot. Center line, back edge of the eight. Yeah, they didn't seem to be worried about that jam at the back. They were hoping for more curl, but you can't hope. You have to react and maybe brush that. Yes, there would have been a double, but there still is. Even if this hits and rolls over in the eight foot, sitting two late in the end. It's interesting when we look at straighter ice as a skip you start to analyze how you're going to play it. The one thing I hated to do when the ice is running a little straighter is have the broom on one side of center when I need to cross it and roll to the other side. I always preferred to play the turn on the same side as I wanted to roll. And in that case, they had to wait, wait, wait for that, and it never curled enough. Hold it for her, roll it across, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. avoids good, the Jess, jam. Just hit two for the moment. Nice throw, nice shot. Hi, girl. <laughs> nice shot. What was my weight? Wait, ten. That was good. Really nice shots. All you can really do here, you could freeze to something, hope for everything to roll out, and then get the back one. But let's try that big roll, just yeah. to switch it a bit. Yeah. Try to roll it over to either the center line, which brings that back right into play, or even farther over to move it around. I think just a hair more. Trying to roll go, 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 it away go, go, go. and not leave the Great double. Shot. And Great shot. We'll roll it to the center line. This, of course, a rematch of last Great year's shot. Scotty's Great final. Tina, what'd you get? In which 10-5. Uh, Nedwin was a winner. Good throw. Okay. Over Kelly Late Scott in Red Deer. 7-6. But this one is about moving on. Now the loser will be eliminated. 
eliminated from the championship contention. They'll play for a bronze medal, of course. Had 10. But it reminds me of that game in the uh, championships yeah. last year. Okay. Kelly Scott played so well in the 1 2 game, and then it came to the final. And although Let's the score was close, go. Kelly admits it never was like that great game in 1 2 or mm -hmm. even in round robin. Team Canada that time was Alberta. Heather Nedowin was so much the better team on the ice. And it has that same feel. The score's not much different, but the shots are being made so much better, so much more precision by Heather Nedowin. Final stone for Nedowin and Team Canada here in 4 BC with Last Rock. One more try at trying to get this over there. Right over there. Got it figured out, don't they? Just yes. perfect. It's definitely flawless curling for four in so far for Canada. No choice but to take the single now. Yep. That jam really hurt, Linda. A little nod of approval. Yeah. It still glides pretty good. Yeah. So the shot you know, this is exactly where they threw to warm up for a draw to the button. To draw against two, Team Canada already up by a couple. Steals of one in the first, another single steal in the third. Real good, guys. What do you got? Line's good. Line's holding. Wazzy and Carter. Line's good. Piece of the forefoot. Let up on this Come now. On. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. A little go, bit more go, now. Go, go, A little go. more panic in the voices. Uh oh. Go, uh -oh. Go, go, go. uh oh. Uh oh. And they're going to get it there enough. It looks Good like job, one only, but they may measure. Just one. One. One it is. One. So another steal of a single. BC and Kelly Scott having their ice troubles. Suggested earlier, whoever figured out the ice first may have a big advantage. Well, it's 3-0 on the scoreboard for Team Canada, and they've stolen all three points. Just like a machine, this Team Canada. We talked about their slide at the end of the week, but uh, it's playoff time, and we watched this last year. Just normal weight, no extra. It hits it thick enough that it protects that yellow one, sits the deuce, forces a mistake out of BC. The key shot is brought to you by sponge towels, paper towels, nothing absorbs like it. BC had the last rock to start the game, and they've had it all the way through as we go to five. Once again, playing the yellow stones, they have the hammer. That end uh, concluded with a shot that would be the most worrisome for Kelly Scott. They've made some mistakes over the course of the four ends, but the fact that her shot is to draw and to save ends when she takes some chances, and she often confines herself to the forefoot or even button, and in that one, she just needed full eight and did not get it there, so that would be upsetting. Well, I don't think Russie would like to have doubt planted in her mind, right? Oh, exactly, and, and uh, there definitely is a little bit of doubt. Uh, Kelly made, if we look back in the first end, made a wonderful angle freeze uh, to get out of a bit of trouble. Uh, it wasn't quite shot rock, but it was a well thrown rocker. Next one didn't curl at all and wasn't even close, even though it was a difficult one. So she's, she has to be sitting in the hack worrying a little bit. I, I think the speed might have been fine with a hair more ice. That just seemed to curl into a possibly slower area a little earlier than they expected. It wasn't far off, but 3 nothing, 2 1, what a difference. Sarah, good girl. Whatever the sport, Linda, you'd like to go out there, you know, feeling confident, just and you just, would just it seems to me just put that brush down and go bang. I know it's going to do this here. Bang. If I go over here, I can do that. They just don't seem to know at the moment. No, and it's for draws and for takeouts. Easy. When you think of Gina's shot, Whoa. Gina Schrader in the last Please. end had a shot to Whoa. hit and roll in sink Please. two, and she not only 
jammed the Rock didn't roll anywhere left to double back so just nothing working at this stage for BC. Come here for seconds. I think the biggest worry for BC is the uh, Team Canada. They're, they're making a lot of shots. Well, they're into that role and the fact that they now have a bit of a lead. Team Canada doesn't have to worry about all that discussion mm -hmm. we had of when to draw and when to hit. They're just hitting and hitting so beautifully. Jessica Mayer has thrown six of her eight shots as hits. Beth Iskew, seven of her eight shots have been hits in the first four ends. That's just perfect for them. Clean. Line's nice. good. Yeah. Yep. Hard line. A little light. Okay, bit of room. Bit of room. Sasha oh, Carter. Line all line. Do you want to yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Right to it. Stay on the nose. Trying to keep yeah, it lined up it. here. Go, 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 Stay on go, the nose. Go, go, go. Great shot. Well done. Nice. Way to go. Yes. Good shot. Fast. Pushes it center line. Back edge of the eight. Which is good. Canada still sitting the deuce. Which is good too, Beck. It keeps it in play. It's a rock they can use later. I like this call. It'd be tempting to hit the one in the rings when you're up three, but it's, this is the rock that could hurt you. Yes! Whoa! Jessica Mayer. Yes! Yep, yep, yep. Hard, 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 hard. There's a good. corner, and it'll spin all the way across. Okay. Eight, two. Way to go, Sash. To throw another guard, you like this? I don't mind it. Okay, still early. All right, so I mean, among the team they're talking about it, throw up another guard still early. You like the call, Russ? Yeah, I do, because if you don't play this shot, hoping for a, a miss out of the Team Canada, you almost have to you tap that, that yellow red combination, right. and there's a very good chance you'll set up a double. If you, even if you make it perfectly, it gives Canada a couple more tries to get out of the double situation and, and okay, prevent yeah. the deuce. Prolong that, that uh, going into the rings as long as you can. Sometimes when you're throwing those shots as a second, in this case, you feel like your shots are being sacrificed a little bit because it's just busy time, trying to keep the other team busy while you delay before you make the move into the house. The other option would be to try and freeze on the back rock and have a little protection that way. Jessica Mayer, Laney please, Peters please. jumping all over this, trying to hold the line, catch the corner. A large crowd on this uh, so Saturday sure afternoon has really been taken out okay, yeah. it by the, uh, the yeah. curling. There's been a lot of Corn, combinations. Uh, yeah, even a five, I think it's fine, Gina. Kelly has opted to play around the top two in the 12 foot and draw to the back eight foot. Seven. Line's good. You got room. Seven. Line's pretty Clean good, guys. For line. Close for line. Yep. Up. Yep. Line. Yep. Six. Hard. This is what Seven. we talked about. You know, once you go in the rings, Seven. you got to keep some separation Hard. on those yellows. The idea was to get around it, but I don't think it's going to get by. Bounce it, Sarah. Go, go, nope. go. Great wait. Now, just to follow up on seven. your point, Vic, yep. Gina threw that. Upon release, the brusher said seven. That would have been T-line. Mm -hmm. And then as it was coming down and curling more, Nine. they had to revise that to a front eight. So they got caught on both curl and speed in that spot. Why does they yeah, bend fresh sure. pebble? Okay. It had to be a little Nine. slower there, but uh, nice it was a pro professional like miss a instead of throwing it right through. Shooter did spill in for a second shot. Nine down. Yeah. Yep. Go to the half. Hard. Hard. Go. Hard. Hard. You got to go. go. Hard. Hard. Once again, Marin Peters trying to hold the line. We'll tap okay, one, okay, two, and get some separation. Shooter him. backs up. Okay. Shot well, stone. Top edge Come button. On. Second shot belongs to BC. Yeah, nose or get behind that corner. Yeah. yeah. 
bends a little more. Wouldn't have got the back one. The top one would have stayed for sure, and there would have been a chance to sit three. It didn't work last end. This end, they have to find a way to get mm -hmm. some separation with this hit. Ten. There is a Clean. Team Close. Canada stone. Close for the roll. Top Close. edge of the yep. Yep. eight foot. Yep. Real hard, real hard. hard. And that's where they'd love to jump it behind, but it'll sit right there. Okay, good throw. Okay. There's that jam again that uh, wow. cost, cost them last end. Yeah, Carolyn, I got eyes for the jam today. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like on that well, one they were afraid rock, to right? brush. So, yes. Yeah, no, that was uh, a hard one. Back to trusting this. You feel like you know the ice. You can trust. Wait for the call or get on it early because you're not afraid of what it's going to do. They're afraid to brush that early in case it hung out. And now they've left it. Jam the back and easy hit for Heather. Sits there, top edge of the four. Second shot is center line back eight. Nine, Team Canada sitting yeah, two without sure. last rock. Because you threw that nice, yes. like if anything. Ten. So where, where, which way? Well, I think if we stick, there's just a pocket. So we better try the roll. Okay. Whole eight foot. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Pretty like simple double yeah. here this way to hit it dead on, but that's not going to solve the problem because that would allow an awfully easy shot for a wonderful hitter in Heather Netta one. So right. I think they're going to try to go the other way, maybe hit it this way or even miss it and keep the shooter over there. At least it makes it a little tougher. Just can't get the angles right, Linda. It's, it's, it's almost wherever you go, it, it's going to give Heather a chance. And that comes back to the uh, the ice reading, does it, Linda? Well, it's the fact that with Gina's shot, they had more room to work, and they missed that shot. Now it's crowded again because the two reds are in there. And trying to roll this away. Would love it to stop, but it'll spin too far. Wow. Keeping track of the uh, missed shots, just about all of them. There's one over curled earlier, but just about all of them a little on the high side. Very frustrating for BC. It's not like uh, Kelly Scott's overthrowing them either. She could read delivery, so I think it's just a guess on the ice as uh, back to Vic's point. And it really truly is a guess. Ice changes a lot. Final stone whoa, team whoa. Canada. Whoa. 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 Read up, read up, read read up, read up, read up, read up, No chance, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa. Good. Yes. And we'll leave it there to sit three. And so that's what she faces, Kelly Scott. And uh, <sighs> as much I'm as going. Kelly Scott has struggled, I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. you have to give full compliments one, to yeah. Team Canada, Heather Netto, and they've, they're, they what appear they? dialed in. They are dialed in on the ice, understanding the speed and curl, and dialed in on the performance of the shots. No nerves, just looking terrific at this stage. All right, remember now in the fourth was a draw against a couple, came up light. There you see her numbers, not Kelly Scott-like at all. Facing three. Looking to get on the board before the break. Line's real good. So Line's there is good. a stone at the back eight that they on, have talked about. And line, again, line here, it's 
Sarah Wozni and Sasha guys. Carter. And oh, oh no, here comes Gina Schrader. You can hear the crowd now. On, Gotta get it there, full eight. Need a little maybe blue. Oh, there they go. There it is. To the back four for a single and a big smile from Kelly Scott. Picks up her first point. It comes in five. We're going to the break. 3-1 Team Canada. It's the 3-4. Page playoff, Team Canada. And British Columbia from the Scotties in Kingston. It was opened in 1835 and has housed some of Canada's most notorious criminals. And now, after 177 years, Kingston Penitentiary is going to close October the 1st. It houses about, oh, some 400 inmates, but it is E-Block, which has housed the worst of the worst through the years. How bad is it in there? Former inmate Guy Paul Moran says, it is scarier than anything you can imagine. This is Kingston Penitentiary. We've had a wonderful week here in Kingston. First time the city has hosted the Scotty's largest sporting event to ever be held in Kingston. And we welcome you back to our coverage, the three, four page playoff. Team Canada, the defending champions, Heather Nedowin and her team for the Savile Sports Center. With the 3-1 lead over British Columbia, Kelly Scott out of the Kelowna Curling ah. Club. And for the first time in the game, here in six, it is Team Canada that does have the last rock. They have the hammer playing the Red Stones. Center guard went into position. Good call by BC. The come around beautifully made by Laney Peters to the top four. And then another sample of what's going wrong with BC. Sarah Wozni asked for the freeze and it bounces off and gives a free pass to Laney to get rid of it. I think it's back to Vic's point. As a coach, I like to really keep track of the uh, shots that didn't work quite properly. And uh, there's a definite pattern here for British Columbia. The, the freeze just didn't curl enough. That allows T. Can to get to the inside roll. And they're making them all. And it just puts British Columbia and Kelly Scott under a lot of pressure right from the get go, every end. Yeah, if I'm uh, BC and Kelly Scott, I, I got, was able with Last Rock to do absolutely nothing. I always felt like I was chasing then, and here now, without the hammer, I'm once again chasing. Yeah, limiting scoring is the goal when you don't have Last Rock, and already the two stones belonging to Team Canada are in a very nice spot, and your guard out in front is nice. It's, at this point, not yeah. helping you a lot because yeah. you didn't get that first one into a good spot. So now <laughs> Kelly's running after these rocks and Heather Nedowin's running up to get rid of that guard. And for good reason, if you look at the uh, the rocks in the rings, the yellow, red, red combination, the Easy. middle red isn't going anywhere Whoa. for at least please, two please, shots. Please. Whoa. Falling back. Falling back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll ask both of you as, as, as uh, yeah. skips. Rust, you, did you, Ma? But words in your mouth. Did you sense the opposing skip, the opposing team were having difficulties with the ice? Oh, for sure. That's that's part of your job as a skipper or for anybody in the team, whoever wants to throw the input in. But yeah, you might go down there and say, look, they're, uh, they didn't make a lot of shots in uh, practice. They weren't drawing well on the left hand side. They didn't realize it was slower maybe on this side. Or, There's a quick lane here. Let's try to talk them into it. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And uh, and also the momentum if uh, at this point in time, if Heather picks up a deuce here, he would really red. apply a lot of pressure. So they, I think they're going to play fairly yeah, aggressive here. Bring it a bit, guys. Yep, yep, yep. Right up to the line. Got to go, got to go, got to go. Hard to the line. Go, 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 go. Good. Good shot. Good. It's interesting when we talk about those statistics yeah. about how each player on a team influences the outcome. And the stats do not show that the lead has much influence on the outcome at all. But what it does is when you have Eleni yeah. Peters who's making these great setup shots, it allows Heather to play any style she wants. So it comes back to the strategy in many ways. Go, Harper, Harper. Go, 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 go
go, 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 go. Oh. And then it translates down the line. That one was, was close, but still got the front guard out of play. This could be a very, very important rock. It, it curls a little more, ticks the yellow-red combination. It gets rid of the back red one for Team Canada, and it loosens the middle red one. It, not only that, it did miss it, but it rolls to a wonderful spot, a usable rock for Canada. Great situation here for Canada. Low risk, chance to score more than one. Almost three. Okay. Three coming good. down. Yeah, I don't think we're as tight. Yeah, as we play here in six, I, it was something I forgot to bring up because we, you and I talked about it before okay, we went on air, Linda. Oh. I was wondering what the oh, last line. rock would mean to yeah. Yeah. whatever team had good. it. it was Ash. BC. We know we've, they've, we've seen their struggles. But you said, interestingly enough, the last rock to start the game really hasn't meant much in terms of wins or losses. A very strange week when we talk about all the teams, not just the playoff teams. Having Hammer in the first hand only resulted in wins 48% of the time, and in many years it's in the 60% range. So this year, for a variety of reasons that I'm sure, it did not influence the outcome. Definitely very unusual. Yep! Yep! yep. Love to leave the oh, yellow hard. red combo alone oh, here. Gotta go, gotta go. Beth, go go good. Nicely done. And we'll roll the shooter right out of play. Okay. Yeah, there's a there's a certain there's always a bounce in Heather Nedowin's step. But today it's a, a bounce and a step of confidence with her. Yeah, she looks terrific. She's looked terrific right from the first hand. I said Part of it is she has a wonderful enthusiasm about her anyways, and as soon as they start to get on a roll, it's something that's very hard to stop with this Heather right. Nedowin team. Either the round. Your other one. Really? It's quite late. Well, I see here again. We saw this earlier. Okay. Okay. So like 11? Yep. The Up to almost nose. Kelly sort of being, you know, called off changed her mind and now again and if a team it just seems to me if a team is doing no, well and everybody's no, on the no, same no, page no, and has it no, figured out no, you just wouldn't no, get there. this no. well they oh, were calling down no. that they prefer to play oh, another guard i believe yeah. and no, no, no. then kelly scott's oh, concern is nothing's going well off. including kelly's Bounce shots bar? yeah i think so on a good angle. Well, that will get rid of one of the uh, red good stones good. so Remember now, it is Team Canada that does have the last rock here in six. So just to finish that off, I think Kelly just does not want to be left with an almost impossible Warm shot. She wants something that's doable because right now she is also struggling. All good. Yeah, two would be problematic here. So that was a good start. Nice about right at that. Gina tapping the one out and left a nice angle here. The, uh, there yep. might be a double, at least punch the yellow open so that it's removable next time. You could just play the straight nose here if you wanted Nine. to. Nine. Easy, whoa. Low firm. Whoa. Nine. Whoa. Low firm. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Yes. yes. Marin Peters now whoa. with a late whoa. stroke. Whoa. One and over. Okay. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice and we'll shot. sit the two. That's good. Ooh, I don't know if yeah, I left the good. right thing. Good. It's fine. A little concern with the way this bounces over and kicks the red one out and leaves an overlap on the red yellow at center line. You can get a little hit and flop if you're Kelly. I think a 10 over here is good. Okay. Roll to the absolute perfect spot. Um, right behind the yellow, it's, it makes it a little more difficult. But it's the same pattern, Linda, no matter who has hammer, the uh, team winning, Team Canada drags it in the rings. And Kelly constantly with her first one has to roll into a great spot or it kind of eliminates her chance to either score two or steal. Yeah. Kelly Scott and her first skip stones here in six. There is that roll underneath. And that's her nicest shot so far. Okay. Yeah. Good shot. 
I'll take it. Jeez. Yeah, you bet. Hard to come by. There hasn't been oh, much no, to smile about. Separation there. Hard on the nose that they might all go. Yeah. Well, it's it's good and it maybe isn't. Uh, yellow on the red, red hits yellow. The yellow should go. It's, the question is, what happens to the red right one? On the Will nose. the red one hang on at the edge here? But the top red one should stay. Nose hit. That's why we were saying that the roll should be a little less, mm, not yeah. to have the three quite in a line. It's one of those days for BC, isn't it? Like you, you had to roll two feet, you rolled two feet, three inches, and uh, this has to be hit right, though. Well, most of what Whoa. she's done so far, Heather Nedowin has been right. Her first Whoa. here in six. Curlop, come on. Go, and they'll both go. I don't know if she wanted, but that kind of dragged the red one and allowed it to stay a little bit, Linda. I think it worked out better than dead on. I think it's perfect. We have to remember in this game, although Heather would love a deuce here and has the chance for it, it's also not urgent. She has a lead in this game mm -hmm. and the hammer. So the urgency still falls to BC to push this and try and get Heather to make tougher shots. And for the first time in the game, Team Canada has uh, the last rock. If someone was tuning in right now and never seen the game they think doesn't yellow always get it on all through the first five they had it of course no, no, just seemed no, that way no, BC no, getting their single in five no. down by a couple Pearl. Come on. Come on. Uh oh, Come on, uh -oh. and it will leave the uh, the draw now do you look at this split out here do you try for three? Well, you can. It's there. Two would be pretty tasty, though. So you have to throw the appropriate weight here, Vic. If you uh, throw like a back line, back eight, you get your two. That's the main thing. It's so many times you see this little aggressive speed, and uh, you roll right, go right by, and you score one, and that that would be a major disaster here. It's there, though. How far yeah. outside the rings is that? Like very far. Less than a the fact that it's oh, close is it. the reason she can play this right. turn. If it was a little further out, she'd have to try the other turn, or you'd be shoving it away from the circle so much. All about speed. Back eight, back line, no more. You can't throw through weight here, just in case. All right, Heather, let's go. Heather Nedowin, final stone here in six. She's up 3 1, has one. Where? Top eight foot. Tense. Trying to split yes. Yes. to get a couple more here. Now it's up to yes. Mayer and to Peters. You got to hold the line here. You got to just chip it and then roll the shooter. So just chip it, chip it, roll the shooter in, hold on to the edge for three. Question of the raised stole. Fingernails out to hold on. And you can put three on the board. We've got a lot of experience on our side and we know what to feel in these situations and how to react to those feelings and what to expect. So hopefully we can use that to our advantage. And the one two is just more comfortable than three four. You can afford a loss and still get to the final. So we're just happy to be in the one two. That was one of our big goals for this week and uh, really proud of my team for getting Rachel and her team, they've been in big games before and I expect them to come out and play lights out and I think it's going to be a great game for TV. Well, we're expecting it to be the two best teams all week. The only loss for Rachel Holman was, in fact, to Jennifer Jones. It's the one-two page playoff. It should be the K Rocking Center tonight when we join you at 7 Eastern time. Manitoba against Ontario. It's the playoffs now, the final four teams. What a great shot that was. The split for three. Team Canada puts it on the board. That was a kind of take that kind of shot by 
Heather Nedwin and the defending champion. So up now, six to one here in seven. BC will have the last rock playing the yellow stones. That shows me a lot, Linda. The uh, just a try it. Um, a lot of people would just play the free draw for two. You're up five one. Take your chances. Uh, but Heather thought she could make hey, it, and that's Sarah. Heather. We watched that all last girl. year, right through to the world. Good and uh, kudos to try it, but again, had to make sure you didn't overthrow it. And if you looked at the weight on that, it might have been back eight-ish. Three or four more feet of weight, you probably are forced to a single. So just perfect speed control. And now what a task. You've faced a team in Team Canada that is so good, and BC hasn't had anything going. And now you've got the huge deficit, and you're looking at an opponent that's hitting so well, and they're going to just try and remove all those guards. Tough position for BC. Yeah, she's giving me a little less ice. So let's take a look at this uh, tick again. The key for you is what, Russ? Speed. It's all about speed. If you throw a T-line weight, you're going to score two. You either over curl, one goes in. So a little more than T-line weight because you needed a little more to roll, but you couldn't overthrow it. Perfect speed. And there was, there was a BC third Gina Schrader standing over it with her brush ready. Just, uh, never mind. It sat and they scored three. But I was mentioning that if you play the other turn, you're pushing the rock that was out in front straighter back and roll the shooter over. Mm -hmm. When you play at that turn, it's really hard because you're pushing it away from yeah. the circles. And what perfect way to just <laughs> hang that biter on the edge. Keep it coming all you can. Go, 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 go. Good sweeping. Good one. Yep. Outside chance at a double peel if you threw it exceptionally hard. Five point lead, make sure of the first one. Jessica Mayer. So this is uh, yep. what we can expect yep. now for Team Canada. Whoa, whoa, they don't have to whoa, score. Whoa, they have whoa. complete control of this game. And got the one Good. and slides under eight the other one, corner. Okay, Sash, Kelly going to change it up here. Okay, Good idea. Right. You put it back and a little higher. There might have been a double peel roll away, and then there's nothing to work I with. So. so I think so too. Going around your own corner. I like that early. Probably. Oh, when, when that's can. the wrong number. Oof. Looks like you got rotation too. So yeah, keep it coming. All you can, all you can. Go, 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 go. Okay, good. good. Sash. Big problem, really problematic about the speed because actually, if it was deep, yes, Sasha nice. could then yep. allow her next teammate Sorry, to get another one in weight. behind. But the fact that it was deep, okay, it didn't allow Nine, the curl. Five, they couldn't get it mm -hmm. so that they could brush it at the end and get it really buried. Bad. That thing is open. 10 would have been back of the house. That's a number you hear a lot of uh, people talking mm -hmm. about you, Russ, at the 10. <laughs> <laughs> I resemble that re remark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're a perfect 10. <laughs> no. Quiet. Easy. Beth is cute. Clean. <laughs> yep. Yep. Whoa. Yep, roll it out, roll it out, roll it out, roll it Unlining. out. Right, roll right over, out. right over, right over. Go, okay. go, go. I heard a great comment from um, Ten, one. Kelly Scott on that last come around. Is, as it was coming in, they were trying to judge exactly how far it was going to go, and she said to the brushers, lots of rotation, which just reminds them that it could glide that little bit farther. And the more you spin a rock, the less friction there is, no different than a car tire, and you're going to get a little more speed out of it. Okay, wait on line, guys. It's only However, this okay, is Arena Ice. Isn't that yeah, line. one of Mark. your yeah. Linda's yeah, laws? Yeah, you have to put the room. put the uh, put the rotation on. And yeah, three. definitely. There, there's nothing wrong room. with the rotation. It will still curl, but you do have to understand what it does to the no, speed of good. the stone. Good, good, good shot, Gina. There's nice a beauty throw. there. Good. Right that to that the back hard. edge. Did you see where that went? Yeah. I was surprised mine stopped. Let's go, Beth. Heel. Okay. Go oh, best right up. Chris release. This is a shot that in women's curling that has improved immensely is this this peel shot because you, when you hit this, when Beth hits this, 
the thrown rock has to Whoa. roll Whoa. probably 18, 20 feet Whoa. when you take that diagonal angle from this side of the sheet all the way across Wee. to the other corner. So you need a bit of speed to make this shot. Good, that's good. A2. It, nice it's shot. all week. I, it's the best week I've seen for that shot. It's, it's hardly any of them missed. Nice throws. Good that's, good. though, the leg drive right coming out of the hack, Linda, and it's also something that we, we commented on during the week is the amount and the number of teams who are getting better, realizing the importance of the upweight shot, training for that upweight shot, having somebody on the team that can play it. Yeah, it starts actually in the gym. You train the legs to get the leg drive out of the hack. It's also an arm extension is often used. It'll add a little bit of speed and also that adds to your accuracy. So. A lot of teams work hard on that shot, along with some of the newer shots like the tick shot we're seeing come along from Team Ontario. Okay. Good, Gina. Good. Something we may see tonight is Ontario and Rachel Holman from the Ottawa Curling Club. Play Manitoba in the one two page playoff. Again, we'll have it for you at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. The, the other option is we just play this. Yeah, but then they just go ting ting. Okay. Well, do you like Heather's call? We do that. Best? She's yeah. good at what? She just plays the tap. Safer. Double tap. Double looks mind. pretty good. I don't mind that. Yep. However, she's got to come to center. She's got to come to us. We hit and roll out. She's got to come to us, which means she'll be clustering here, right? Unless she comes there. I still have the same thing. Double's pretty hard. I like this. And then if I don't, then she's got the hit and roll. Let's do that. Just peel out. Kay. Peel out. Sorry, what kind of weight? Peel. Okay. Interesting this thought is, process um, there. And really I, 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 I think the 6 1 okay. lead is, is causing oh, a sorry. bit of this situation to happen. You certainly don't want to jam that. Uh, you girls like this? Top rock, but uh, yeah, to get rid of this yellow yeah, one, it's much easier to hit it this way easier. than this way because it's on a little I bit of an angle. So why not give it a try? Well, get lucky, you. make the double, and this Here ends over for British Columbia. Good. I like it. This is scoreboard watching. BC needs to get something going, and Heather's not sure they're going to do it on their own. She doesn't want to help them. I True. think that's part of the thought process. Skip Stones. Yep. Clean. Just Heather clean. Nettowin, her first. Roll out. Woo, just clean. Good. And we'll lose the shooter. Didn't get it. Nice throw. Good. Fine. Uh, throws in. She's got to come to us. Had a girl throw. Had just about throw every end, yeah. now that Heather plays that shot. And so just about every yeah. end, yeah. Kelly's first shot yeah. is yeah. where do yeah. I yeah. hit nice. and roll Very not nice. to set up a double? And here we go again. In this case, I think she's opting for a quiet shot, okay, trying to leave the redstone in play. Tap it, tap it to be shot rock, right, but yeah. still keep it back there. So okay. if I throw about back 12 yeah. and yeah. Uh, get it through the forefoot. Okay. This broom position is a great example same, of what you were talking meeting. about at same. the start of the game, that yeah. the ice has changed that mm. little bit. And so uh, at the beginning of the game, Kelly wasn't curling enough on a ton of the yes. shots, especially the hits. Yeah, it's much tighter ice, isn't it? These are so difficult to, with, with the curl, even, line even line if it is a little straighter. There's still going to be lots of finished hog line, line in. Any, any extra speed, Whoa. you'll end up splitting the yellows and Whoa. possibly set up a double. Got to come off a bit more. A little more. A little bit more. Okay, yeah, just guys. Now it has to curl a yep. lot more. That was supposed to be a yep. straight go, 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 go. back okay. tap. Okay. Not all bad, though. Right At least there's, yeah. there, there's no yellow double. Yeah. That's job number one. And it forces uh, yeah, mm -hmm. Canada to roll away the or dead on. Right there. That's not bad because then, I mean, to make the double shift goes yeah, thin. I think I agree with you. I don't want to go this way. No, I, I don't think so either. I need to go anything further. It makes it easier because it'll go I ching -ching. think so too. I think just either we go straight. here. Yeah. Or stay right there. Okay. I don't mind staying right there. The initial reaction is to come down, hit right. this rock, get away from your own, and roll over this right. way and, and okay. have some right. type of separation. But you, obviously, yeah. you roll too far, you give up too. Hitting it dead on, they've just like identified. That is a nice situation because that's a very tough double. That Yes, you can okay, make it, but you'll probably lose your own thrown We're rock. We're playing for the roll my way. Not with that ice. Huh? Not with that ice. Um, <laughs> this is, uh, 
the nose or a slight, just the nose. Perfect. No roll your way, Jess. Yes, agreed. Kind of wait? Just that 10, 10, 5. Okay. Let's go, Heather. Go out, turn, and kind of down the hole. Kelly Shot already thinking Play. about what she yeah. may be yeah. playing here if this shot yeah. is made. Yeah. Final stone, Team Canada. Oh. Heather Nedowin oh. yeah. want to yeah. sit yeah. right there. Yeah. So it's all up to whoa. Peters and Mayer now to hold whoa. the line whoa. and bang yeah. it on right the beak. Sit. Nice. That's really Great good. Great shot, Heather. Tough double to stick around. Great shot. Yeah. You know, first stone, boy. Had it figured out. Precision got curling. The double, but you get, if you actually just get by this, yeah, I think it's worth trying. The safest way to, to, to play the thin double. I heard them talk about thin double. Uh, it would be virtually impossible to hit enough of this one, and then your yellow one goes that way and probably out of the rings. You might want to throw big time weight, try to hair past the top one, hit the back one first. You should, you should be able to get enough of this one to roll out that way. Yeah. Unless there's yeah. a big enough hole, or Linda, it might like squirt a through. Little too much. What do you think? I would think you hit it right where the broom is with big time weight. Move. Okay. I'll I think they're less. trying to do the thin tick. Thin, thin. Oh wow! Very appreciative crowd. Applauding as Kelly Scott made her way down to the ice for her final stone. Here in seven. Team Canada sitting two. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yes! A game Five. saver quite possibly now as Wozni and oh, Carter try to hold yes. the line here. Yes. Thin, 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 thin. Oh, and there's the backup. There's the backup. Exactly as you said. Couldn't hold the shooter. Got the two. Oh, good try. But it just oh, slammed it into reverse and back out of the rings. Now, if it would only sit, if it may have caught the Yellowstone on the way by, that may have helped a little bit. No, just the single. Well, it's time now for the M&M &M Meat Shop's final, oh, pardon me, I'm sorry, this is more, this is the Daytona 500. Here we go, it's tomorrow. Danica Patrick is on the uh, pole. The new Gen 6 cars, very reminiscent of the uh, cars that back in the day you run what you brung. And then they made all the changes to the cars. People really had no idea what they were running, but tomorrow you'll see the Ford Fusion on the track. Looks very much like the car that you can buy in the showroom, so I think it's a big step forward for NASCAR. It's the Tona 500. And the uh, m and Meat Shop's final and challenge, well, that's coming up. I'll wait for that one. Okay. Good brushing. Five, four. Sometimes you leave a competition and you uh, sit down with your coach. If you're Sarah Wozni, it's Brent Giles behind the bench. And you talk about things that you did well and things that you maybe need to improve. This is one of those games where it's just a puzzle. It's, I don't really know what's happening with the ice. The team's not really sure about the weight. The strategy hasn't really clicked in any way, shape, or form for BC. So it's hard to even debrief and find something to learn about this game. It's just one of those games where nothing is working. Go, Jeff, everything's go, working go, go, for Team Canada. Here's two Good. perfect stones. I love that position right there. Enough high enough that it's above the button so they can't get around it. I mean, take that, yeah. Lainey Peters having a wonderful game. Same as it's been. Yeah, same. Okay. Free guard zone creates so many options now. It's, it's really interesting. You might have seen Ontario play the split twice there. You, you might see Jeff Stoughton play the split twice. A lot of the other teams play the come around like that. There are options. In this case, a, a great defense is a great offense. And the Heather's applying pressure shot after shot after shot. Sasha Carter trying to wrap one around and comes down to shot stone. Let's 
Jess. If the yellow, yellow doubles made, the uh, back yellow is going to come very close to those red ones in the rings. So I had to look around lining that up. The good thing is the scoreboard means you just have to get rid of these no matter what happens in the house. One and jammed it. Okay, nicely done. And we'll just leave the one out now. You like that? Three? I was thinking three. Three. Gina? Hey, yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh. Trying to play a tight guard. Mm, you're pretty tight, eh? Three. Nice. Three. Three. You can go right to it if you're deep. No, we don't. No, we no. don't want it to curl totally. Just okay, on we're this side of the line. Go, go three. three. Oh. Right to a three. Keep it coming. Where are we? Even? Where, guys? Where? Keep it coming. Keep okay. going. Keep going. Keep Little going. More. Keep going. Little more. Go, 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 go. Okay. Good. I thought if she tried the double kill, maybe a three might come back into it. How long do we want to wait? Yep. Okay. Three, uh, three quarters, actually. Okay. You want to send it here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Three quarters. Yep, same okay. thing. That's the problem That's if you hit it over the top. Actually, mm -hmm. you heard Kelly Scott say, I brought it tight in case they try the double peel across the top of the second guard because it would come back into the house, but that's not the plan for Heather. That from Skip and Kelly Scott yep. thinking of all yeah. the angles, trying to create some type of error. Hard, gotta go! Just a mirror. There's that angle back. Ooh. Just yeah. caught yeah. it. Just caught it. And leaves her shooter now out in front, covering the edge of the forefoot. Just dangerous. Well, you have to say that I mentioned BC <laughs> was having nothing go right. There had been some That's very really good moving. breaks for Team that Canada. They've had a couple wide. of other earlier stones that just yeah. missed rocks in the house. And there's the little tick okay. to go by the ones in the rings. Oh, good sweeping. Good sweeping. <sighs> In some ways, it wouldn't have mattered that much, but uh, they seem to be just catching the right piece of the rock. Just rolled enough that that red uh, top Canada rock is hittable uh, at any angle, too, I believe. Okay, a bit of room. Um, oh. We're not heavy, just a okay. six, seven. Mine's good. Still room. Six. Close. Close. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, first yep, six, seven. Really hard, really hard. Tina Schrader. Carter Wozniak. There's a little bump and roll off. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yikes. Double's definitely there. That little less okay, weight, you could have left it and maybe overlapped a bit so the yellow one could not be hit. Can we play the outside one into the yellow? Is that there? I don't like this one. Yeah, I know. So let's just get rid of it, kick this over, and sit here. Two choices come down, yep. hit it this way. Try to get it rid of it that way. Your red one will stay against the saver here, and maybe kick it over a little bit. The other option would be to come down that way, right Your across, and Press kick that please. out that way if you throw it hard enough. That's the, uh, like that's the shot that uh, Jessica Mayer saw. Heather's actually going to sacrifice shot stone to get rid of this yellow. Mm -hmm. Might be smarter in the long run. If you tried the double, didn't make it, you leave a dangerous yellow. So. Playing the scoreboard. Beth Iskew. Easy. Yep. Yep. In the yep. eight. Yep. I'm leading six to Whoa. two. Whoa. 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 You're good. Whoa. Nice That's shot. a good shot. How was that, Heather? There's a pocket now, though. That's and good. Pump that, <laughs> pump that one stone a little more behind cover, but maybe the only thing to say, Linda, is that stone as we look at it on the left or in the house. I just one a little like bit it. more behind oh. cover. Yeah. Well, the separation. Okay. These are very I close together, so, so it's okay. going to be interesting to see how yeah. Kelly approaches yeah. this. Hey, ten and a half. 
going to play the hit. <laughs> See, I'd be tempted to freeze. You, know, you look at the scoreboard, you go steal, 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 you lose. So you actually need a double steal somewhere, and uh, you keep hitting. No. It's hard, going to be hard to put a lot of pressure on uh, Team Canada. You freeze one right in there. They've got a decision to make. No, God knows. Get up. Okay. In that case, I think Gina's just popping those out turns mm -hmm. because the call, as soon as it's released, is not to brush. I like nose. But this is popping and beans what? A little wide, and so the okay. ice call was probably right. That's what we were talking about earlier in the game that Kelly was struggling a bit with the ice call, but I think in that case it was more the release. Mm -hmm. We go here, she's going here. Yeah, no, I like nose. I like nose too. I don't mind this, Beth. Yeah. Okay, these guys like it. Eight, <laughs> nine, uh, <laughs> ten, ten, five. Right on the nose. Front end gets a vote. <laughs> Nice it's also if it doesn't work, 10, 10, you know what happens yeah, at the conclusion of the end. <laughs> it wasn't my idea. This is definitely the rock that has to disappear for sure. Try not to roll and stagger the red ones either. Dead yep, on makes yep, some sense, then you can raise it. Go, 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 right out of her hand. Harder, Fingers barely off the, the handle. Harder. Laney Peters and Jessica Mayer on the strap now. Try to hold it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nicely done, Beth. And right there. <laughs> we were rolling up. We said earlier this week, just what good brushing can do. And all the uh, teams here do have. The guy in the corner there. The teams in the in the in the playoffs, Linda, have very good brushing. In that case, too, uh, the brushers actually made a funny little comment. They didn't think the shot was going to work, but the precision that's being demanded of, by Heather in this game, and she's getting out of the team, are partly due to the brushing. They're really pushing the brushers to make every shot. And it's important because if they had staggered that, if they rolled to that highlighted rock, they'd be staggered. When Kelly Scott comes in with the yellow one, the reds could not be raised. So now it's a very raisable rock, that one at the top of the 12. Trying to wrap it around Fire. that stone. Go, go, go. Top eight. Go, wrap go, it around go. that one. No, little rub. And now they're grouped. Okay. Good sweeping. Very good weight. That maybe says it all, doesn't it? Well, it's very lopsided when you look at the skips numbers. Heather Netto went at 84%, but it has been that kind of day for Kelly. Trouble with the ice, the weight being very tough shot she's being faced because of problems in front of her and what a spread at skip numbers the player numbers are brought to you by capital one what's in your wallet wrong side of the inch right, for kelly scott that was here. so close to being perfect the weight was there but gets by just kisses the corner of that red one you just want to look up and say, give me a break. Oh, my goodness. One it's, break. It's true. <laughs> it's not no. my day. Eight and a half. No. no. And of all the never. games no. to, uh, never, 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 for it to never. happen, because no. there's no never. second chance never. here. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's perfect. Okay. No That's problem. really no good. That's actually okay. Yeah, it is. Just pinched it a little bit. Yeah. It runs so Do you want to tap it like here, or do you want to get it over here? I was thinking early, because tapping straight back, she might just run the double, whereas tapping early, she'd okay. run hers. What do you think? Sure, yep. And you want to get, like, maybe back here? Yeah. A little more space. So I might need about close to back 12, eh? Tough situation for BC. They have to tick this yellow one in sideways to that location I've drawn on the board. And there's two heat-seeking okay. missiles that Heather's, gonna, <laughs> Heather's got a choice to uh, get them in there. Okay, let me ask you something about coming down that right side as we look at it, the, the wide intern and trying to wrap something around, maybe catch the four 
on that yeah. turn. Yeah, I like that a lot better, Vic. It's, uh, exactly. You have to go up pretty wide, but then uh, you would not have a. Is that that's three times this week? <laughs> three in a week is amazing. <laughs> I think it might be two today. <laughs> that's Wait. unbelievable. I know. That's really. <laughs> that's, that's really something. You are a 10. I got to tell you that. There you go. Kelly Scott, her final stone. This is going to be tough here because it's going to be coming up quickly on that stone and run it back. And it will sit. Shot stone. It was curling so much, I thought it might actually touch the red that Heather Nedowin actually is going to run back. That's a really nice shot. Finally, they got something into a position that makes it a little harder for Heather. Unfortunately, the red one is there to be raised, but they got almost maximum distance they could between the rocks. That was the other good thing, isn't it? That maximum distance, that gives a little better chance to have this shot missed. These aren't simple, a little bit high side. You go right across the top. You can't dead on, barely makes it. Let's go, Heather. Heather, you got her. Oh, sorry. Not quite ready. Resets. A little bit of a buzz in the crowd here at the KRL. Because they sense maybe BC Normal could steal a Normal. shot here, steal a point. They're sitting the one. Yep. Yeah. Listen to yeah. Beth Isku calling that line. Here's the brush. Mayor Peters. Now, run it back, got it. Oh, and they will pick it. They'll get rid of it. They couldn't hold it, but that's good enough for a one and maybe two at the top. One for sure. Not quite sure here. Take a look. I'll measure it. One They're going to measure one for sure. For two. That came up a little bit, and Heather, they're off on, off on. I thought they could hold it in that spot. It started to curl and just, just tipped a piece of that thing. Here it goes. Well thrown, normal takeout weight. Don't overthrow it. Make it go away. So Team Canada has one in their pocket. 7-2 at this point. So... Dial, tighten it up, watch where it goes. Just one shy of the number three. Now over, one more time, here we go. Oh, wow, there's no doubt. Wow, Team Canada Did you? Okay. will pick up two. Eight to two, it's been her day. The defending champion said the team would bounce back. Boy, have they ever. <laughs> well, now it's time for the M&M Meat Shop's Final End Challenge. Right after the game, we want you to go to finalend.ca and enter the secret word for a chance to win a trip for two to the 2014 World Junior Curling Championship in Flim, Switzerland. The first 100 entries will have a chance to win a $50 M&M gift card. All participants will get an M&M discount. We'll give you that secret word, and then you go to finalend.ca. Started off uh, badly for British Columbia. Their problems in getting a handle on the ice resulted in three straight steals. It was 3-1 at the break. And then that lovely chip shot. Uh, chip like and roll in to score three. Really broke it open. And now they add two more. And there you can <laughs> see. Nice shot, Sarah. Yeah. Throwing them through up 8-2 to two over British Columbia. Sarah Wozniak. It's a sports okay. is a curious thing, and we love it for that reason. Who would know when we talked about if you were to pick and handicap the two teams coming onto the ice today, Russ, you would have said BC because of the way they came into this to this three-four game. They had won their five in a row. They were getting it together. 
And yet here they are the, the team that's flat. Oh, you would have bet a lot of money. Uh, one and four for Heather Nedowin coming into this game. And uh, even though even they won game, they won the that was probably their worst game of the week. And uh, but that's what these veterans do. They they knew it didn't matter whether you won your first seven, lost your next four, or vice versa. They were in the playoffs. That was, that was their goal, and their goal today was to win, and they just played perfect. Same, Sarah. So Linda, Same, was Heather Sarah. being yeah. Yeah. Truthful's not right. Do you believe in her heart of hearts? She said, look at despite the losses, there were good things out of it. There was no reason to be negative to to pile on her team. I think Heather had some uh, questionable shots and calls, in my opinion, not tactical really choices in the games that they lost. But I don't think it was deeper. all bad. There was lots of positives to take from this team. I will say in this game, they were given a little assist. At the start of this game, it's like Kelly Scott was skipping a little bit around her rookie lead, playing to the open, not trying to push Heather Nedowin to make some good shots. And it all went very badly for BC. They were the ones not picking up the ice and not making the key shot. So definitely, Heather's a great champion. The team knows how to recover. All of that is true. And then that little bit of an assist was given at the start of the game. Good. So you go back to uh, a year ago, and the round robin record was seven and four, but it was the way they finished. They finished more Kelly Scott like, BC like, and then they ran through to beat Scott in the final. to tell you though as far as an athlete and a coach one of the hardest things to do is to get a player to understand what to do pre-game to get to their ideal performance state and that's what you do well, physically and mentally so you know what you want to think and feel you know how you should be going to the ice what energy all that sort of thing and every athlete struggles with it and every game seems to be a little different Vic you've pointed out it's how you come into the game and then it's how much time you had this morning to prepare and then it's who your opponent is and all of those things make it tough and in this case Heather Nedowin their coach Daryl Horn they have done a better job in knowing how to go to the ice to be at their very best It's also interesting, I've been watching every between end break at the Canadians. Uh, you can yep. talk yep. to your coach between ends, and Daryl Horn's yep. been working it the whole game. Between ah. every end, it's true. Heather ah. Nedowin or Beth Iskew goes Please. up, they have a little chat. Heather's got lots of energy. I'm sure he was uh, the right balance of energy or calming influence. And Daryl, actually, he's been standing most of the game, so I'm sure he's got a little bit of energy as well. Corey Morris sitting next to him, the fifth player for Team Canada. When you talk about BC, they have a new coach in Brent Giles. There's Diane Gushlak, fifth player next to him. They worked for years and years with Jerry Richard. That's Gina Schrader's dad. And Jerry still works with them in Kelowna, but he's actually oh, home helping no. take care of the three children light. that Gina has <laughs> now. Fine. So uh, no, it's fine. a little more difficult for Brent to know how Fire to work line. this team sure. in a competition. That's typical of the day, that little rub. around this time Why not? Peel. you stay around that's fine could give the double well, a try away. here too okay. they're going to uh, hit the one roll to the center and try to take away the corner guard and if this stays in the front half of the rings it's really another guard for British Columbia at this point they have to they have to be ducking around Peel. everything Whoa. Be a better option for Canada. Throw. Okay. Nice throw. Is that a girl? That works. <laughs> nice recovery. Thanks. So you were top 12. Yeah. Yeah. Still a little bit more. So one more try to get around that corner for 
Gina Schrader. One thing you've got to love about the four teams remaining in this competition, including BC, is the attitude. BC could be very frustrated, and I'm sure they are, but outwardly you don't really see it. They're still trying to make every shot the best they can. And that's the great thing about whatever champion we declare out of this, Scotties, we know we're going to say a wonderful representative off to the World Championships, and it's not just shot making, it is their attitude and their approach to the game. We, we, we sometimes make a little fun of, of Kelly because a sweeter, nicer lady you will be hard-pressed to meet when she says, nice shot, Jean. I mean, they are, this team is a reflection of that lady. She's a wonderful person, and it's such a great team unit. They respect each other, and she shows that respect after every shot. It's very nice to see. Great ambassadors for our great sport, and, uh, you know, keep in mind, five straight wins to get here, too. That's what Sasha thought, and then with my second, too. And then, you know, there's... You're right. Okay. You, we the rings, watched Heather last year and yeah, how she good. dealt with it and how she bounces around and that energy just okay, like he can't that fills stuff. the team as well. So there's a there's a contrast yeah, here, but both teams are the reflection of their uh, their skips and one of the finest here on her way to a spot in the semifinal. The defending champions. This is Heather Nettle. End up Get in the over. rings, it might could spin. Okay. Yeah, no, it did. Look at that. Thanks Not that it really me. matters because wherever this Get next one goes, uh, Heather's going to hit something. Looks the same still? No, it's it's. Solid five feet heavier. Yeah. Oh, like a back eight will be a T line top four now. You don't have to baby it quite as much. Yeah. Four. four That's five. what we witnessed four, last five, night in yeah. the uh, in there. Canada Ontario game. It uh, did come down a little bit. But I mean, Kelly Scott, in general, she seems really surprised at that. What was just told to her. Yeah, it's true. She really is, and it, uh, I'd be a little surprised it's that much slower, especially going to the wing like this. I, I would, I would think this will still glide pretty good. But it's down the middle where the wear pattern is, Vic. There's so many shots, uh, two practices, all your slide, your practice slides, almost all the rocks are down the dead center for a period of time. So it has to slow down down the middle. But as this curls away, it's still pretty quick here, and this this will glide nicely from here on in. Good job. Good. No, so the front end had it read correctly. Did you get a time? Four six. Heavier. Okay, we were thinking four five. Ten, ten and a half. Okay. Actually, I can throw control here. It'll move a little bit at the end. Okay. The type of shots that you tell your front end to keep Air the sticks Marvin. in the ice. Okay. Let's keep yeah. it clean. This is Go ahead. Sure. All right, throw here. Right up, Heather, like you can. Starting to curl away from that stone. Get enough. Holy. Okay. She tight. And it will uh, it spin out there. the back. You know, so, uh, an opportunity I here to draw for two. BC. Oh, really? Very nice of everyone here at the K Rock. She got a four six on that guy. Perfect. Yeah, okay. No, no, you'll be fine. No, 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 no,
sitting one. Mine's good. Back Set. edge of the what eight foot. Hot. Draw for two. <laughs> Are you <one>. sure? <laughs> two, yep. And it'll stop there for the deuce for BC and nine. Yeah, I know, it's quite a bit heavier. We're in 10, right? We're in 10. They will continue to play, and we'll take another break. It's the 3-4 page playoff here in Kingston. When I was at the other end looking at the rocks, I was just standing at the hog line, and I was like, uh, I don't think so. I actually suggested the through the hole shot. I was just wondering if you thought it was there. What? It's pretty tough. And then sitting in the hack, and I thought that uh, we could make a big shot here. We could try it. If I take my yellow in, it's not that bad. I think from the hack, it's one of those things that you always feel that you can see more of the stone, and she can get through and make a great shot. But that's the hole. You can see in her eyes, she can see the shot, and that's really all you need is a skip. So here we go. Her first here in five, Rachel Holman. Yes! We had to go on it for, for the higher guard. And now they call the pressures on for Vyasek Weagle. I looked again, and we were on the back one. Can they find the hole? Lisa bailed because of the rock got in her way, thank God, and uh, got off it just enough. Get it through, feather them. Unbelievable. What a shot. It was less there than I thought it was, that's for sure. <laughs> it's a good one to talk about because it's a good one to keep in our back pocket there. <laughs> that was a, an awesome team shot. And we're hoping to see more shots like that. When we join you at 7 Eastern time, it'll be the one two page playoff game, Manitoba undefeated. Their only loss for Ontario coming to Manitoba. The winner, of course, will go right through to the final on Sunday. Now it's time for the final and challenge M&M Meat Shops. And today's secret word is meatballs. Right after the game, Go to finalend.ca and enter that secret word, meatballs, for a chance to win a trip for two to the 2014 World Junior Curling Championship in Flims, Switzerland. Finalend.ca. That beats kebabs, I think. Definitely. Eight to four, and Team Canada has the last rock okay, playing the right red here. stones yeah. here in 10. Team Canada doesn't have to do anything this end except hit once things are available to be hit. And so guards have gone up and Heather Nettingwin was just tossing them through until she had a chance to play shots on those front stones. Hit. Hit. Okay. Hit. Go to okay, to did you say that turn that? Peel there for obvious like reasons. You might be able to get that right hand rock that was just thrown. Team Canada just needs to make rocks disappear. Up by four. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jessica Mayer. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. It's an interesting thing because we always talk Good. about yeah. Team Canada. 76. How do you prepare? So as Canadian champions last year, and Three. Heather Nedwin knows she's coming back. Mm -hmm. So she, during the off season, she called Jill Officer, who throws second stones. Jess. For uh, Jennifer Jones asked her, and who else did she call? Kelly Scott to say, how do you and how did you handle preparing to be Team Canada? Two and a half, yeah. three. Okay, bring it up to line. Great thing about this sport, isn't it? Yeah, go the fact that they line. answered the phone. They do. I <laughs> <laughs> didn't hang up and say, That's you right. figure it out. <laughs> it is a great thing. Keep it going. Keep it going. Okay, where are we? Three, four. Okay. <laughs> no, that track when you get yeah. into it is better. Okay, My second one, I didn't think I threw that much. And she admits, yep. Yep. this year is less than has been, Heather nice says, Chris less Carol. stressful. Like you can. They have their spot at the curling trials to try back. and Straight represent up. Canada at the Sochi Olympics. But there's always that 
lingering question whether in fact you've prepared properly Linda. Yeah, I think it's great. I mean, we, we were the first one. That's a long time ago, but I thought it was the easiest thing to do to get there again and train in your own way. A little bit differently, of course, but train in your own way to be your best. And jammed it. Good shot. That's fine. It's been like four times there. No choice but to use that as a bit of cover. Come around again. Hope the uh, yeah. red raise is missed. This track will be fine too. Okay. Can you hide four of them in there? That's, <laughs> <laughs> That's the difficulty. There's one. And it'll go come to the back Great eight. Shot. Time for the uh, game story, and this may have been written on the first stone, first end. There was very early the steal in the first end, but maybe the turning point was actually the third end when Kelly Scott had an in off for two. That would have turned the game around more confidence for BC. It's not made. And then that sixth end, what a statement. A split for three by Heather Netto at 82% for Heather. Tremendous performance by her whole team. The game story is brought to you by the Heal Dominion, Canada's <laughs> trusted insurance okay. company. Heal. Let's go, Beth. Nice clean throw right up. Heal. Yep. yep. Whoa. 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 Yeah. 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 Bird. Whoa. Bird. How many do they get rid of here? Girl. And girl. yes. So two out the back, two at the far end. They need four. And it's a trip to the semifinal for the defending champions, Heather Nedowin out of the Savile Sports Center. A winner over the two time champion, Kelly Scott, and her team from Kelowna. Very impressive. Eight to four, the final. Nice. Good start, guys. Good job, girls. Good job. Good effort. That was a difficult game for Kelly Scott, but she will now play for the bronze medal as Team Canada advances to the semi, and they await the loser of tonight's one-two page playoff game between Manitoba and Ontario.